Hi Gemini, it's Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana. And these are your deep thoughts for the rest of November, okay? For the rest of November. Uh, Gemini, this is a general reading for the collective of Gemini. And as always, this is not your personal reading, okay? You may see yourself in this reading. May have already happened. You may be in the middle of it. It may not have unfolded in your life yet. But nevertheless, whatever you see and identify with in this reading... It's not your personal reading. If you have life-altering decisions to make, please don't ever make those decisions off of my general readings or anybody else's. If you would like more confirmation, understanding, clarity, wisdom, and guidance, please contact a tarot card reader, your favorite tarot card reader. If that should be me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. Link in the box below. Okay, Jim. All right. Let me get this hair out of my face here. All right, Gemini. So this reading is kind of heavy, it's kind of heavy, all right? So you enter into this reading with a creative block, okay? A creative block. You have been waiting for something to make for a good long minute. You've been waiting for something to develop. You've been waiting for something to create, and it's not happening, okay? This Prince of Cups in reverse is clarified by the Four of Wands in reverse. There has been no communication, okay? There's been no communication about what it is that you've been waiting to create. Knight of Pentacles, right? A good long time. It's been so slow. There's been no communication. You've been waiting and waiting for this to be created, and it's just not happening. Judgment in reverse talks about ignoring the call, right? Talks about ignoring the call, talks about self-doubt, inner critic, right? So now you have a lot of self-doubt built up. You're wondering, is this ever really going to go? Am I waiting in vain? What is happening right here, okay? Ignoring the call also talks to me about... Um, let me pull my thoughts together. Ignoring the call also talks to me about um, ignoring your intuition a little bit, right? Wanting something so badly that you're willing to ignore your own intuition to have it, okay? That's what this card is about too. But because it's taken so long, um, you're beginning to doubt the whole situation, the world in reverse. This is about delays, right? Delays, delays, delays. Well, like I said, whatever this is, you've been waiting to for to 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 manifest, to create, isn't happening. And the nine of cups in reverse says that you're pretty dissatisfied with the whole situation. This cup, this card is also about greed and materialism too, which tells me because it's followed by the princess of pentacles that perhaps what you're waiting on is money or or a financial situation of some sort. But it doesn't have to be. It could be anything in your life. Whatever clicks inside of you when you're hearing this reading, that's what this reading is about for you. Okay. So the Princess of Pentacles, you've been manifesting this, this opportunity in your life for a long time now. You've been waiting on it. You've been manifesting it for a long time. Three of Cups says that celebration is what hinges on this thing manifesting in your life. When this thing manifests in your life, this thing that is taking so long, this thing that shows no signs of life, whatsoever, um, your celebration hinges on this thing coming through. Ten of Cups, your happiness, your contentment, your harmonious life depends on this thing coming through. Teamwork and collaboration, right? You've been waiting to hear from other people. You've been waiting to hear from another person. You've been waiting to hear from an organization, a company, something. You've been waiting forever. And their participation, their teamwork and collaboration with whatever it is that you're waiting to be created is the hinge that everything hinges on, right? Strength. Pulling on some serious strength because, um, like I said, whatever it is that you're trying to create isn't working, and you're all, and you have all of your happiness hinging on this thing creating, right? Having to pull on some serious strength to get you through. Okay, 
to the wheel of fortune because whatever this is that you're trying to manifest that isn't manifesting is going to be a turning point in your destiny. This card I want to point out also is a turning point in your destiny regardless of how this situation turns out. Your life will have a turning point one way or another in this situation. And I think you realize that, right? Six of Pentacles comes in and talks about everything that I just said, right? We have the, okay, look, 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 look. Let me just get these together, put them in the order that they were. This, to this, to this, to this, okay? So, creative block, nothing happening, nothing being manifested, nothing happening at all. Manifesting, something that you've been manifesting and manifesting and manifesting isn't happening. Everything, all of your celebration, your happiness, your harmony, the peace in your life, the giving and receiving of not only having enough, but having more than enough is not happening. And everything is hinging on this making. Everything is hinging on somebody else's teamwork and collaboration to help you manifest whatever it is that you're trying to manifest here. It's not happening, so you need some strength. You're trying to trust the process. You're trying to, you're trying to see through to the other side. And regardless of what the outcome is, it is absolutely a turning point in your destiny. So we come down here to the King of Swords. Come here to the Empress in reverse. This is a decision. This is a decision outside of your control. This is the decision about the teamwork and collaboration. So the people you've been waiting on to manifest this whole thing, this teamwork and collaboration that you've been manifesting on, a decision comes in. A decision comes in and that decision is no bueno. That decision is not in your best interest and it's not in your favor because the Empress in reverse talks about codependency, which according to these cards, you are extremely codependent on this coming through for you. And it is not because the Empress in reverse is also about an absolute creative block. See, in the upright, this decision would be abundance. This decision would be creation, abundance coming together. But... It's not. The decision is no creation in the situation, which affects your dependency on this situation. These cards are clarified by the Knight of Swords. There is some action-oriented communication that comes into you about this situation that puts you in an energy of the Five of Cups in reverse, having to move on disappointment, despair, having to move on to the seven of pentacles in reverse because there's limited success. There's limited reward. It's not going to make, it's not going to happen for you. And the emperor in reverse, this is an inflexible decision. It's not negotiable. It's not negotiable. Whatever this authoritative figure is right here, the decision that they made to not create this situation that you're depending on is inflexible and non-negotiable. Sorry, Jem. Four of Swords in the center of your reading in reverse. Talks about being mentally restless, a lack of progress. Mentally restless because of a lack of progress, okay? To the Two of Swords, now you're at a crossroads because all of your eggs were in this basket. All of your eggs were in this basket and your entire realm of happiness depended on this decision. This decision is a no-go and now you are mentally restless because there's a lack of progress and you're at a crossroads in your life. Eight of Pentacles in, rever in reverse. This is a lack of teamwork and collaboration, a lack of ambition, a lack of focus, um, disengaging. This is the decision back there with that King of Swords, right? That's the decision. To the Seven of Cups, 
Now you have confusion, choices, options. It was wishful thinking, right? Now you don't know what to do. Now you're just kind of dumbfounded, like, oh my God, oh my God, I just knew that was going to go. I knew it was going to make. All of my eggs were in that basket, and now it's not going to make. The Hierophant in Reverse. This is a card about your belief system, right? Because before it was upright, right? While you're while you're waiting and while you're you're hoping for teamwork and collaboration and and building on this on this idea that didn't have foundation, but you're building up all of your hopes on it and now it's all deflated, right? That represents the hierophant upright, all of your hopes and dreams, right? In reverse, it's about the shaking loose of that commitment. It's about your personal beliefs that have changed about the situation, right? Clarified by the King of Pentacles. That situation, that commitment that you were holding on to, those, those hopes that you had, um, were based on the fact that your life was going to be amazing after this whole thing actually made. But of course, now it's not making, right? The decision came in, it's not going to go, and it's inflexible, and there's nothing you can do to change it. This King of Pentacles represents power, control, authority, um, materialistic gain, ambitions, um, all of the good things that come in life. And that's what you were banking on. That's what you were banking on. The star card. This was going to be hope for your future. This was going to be renewal of your life. Hope, faith, purpose. This was the purpose for you. You thought that this was a sure thing and that this was the purpose for your future. But now you have fear of the unknown. Now you don't know what to do. Now you just, you don't even know what to do. Emotionally volatile with the King of Cups in reverse. Crushed. Crushed. Panic. I feel panic. Four of Pentacles. What are you going to do now? Right? What are you going to do now? This is lockdown on your financial situation. Lockdown on your personal security. Because the decision came through that this is not going to happen for you, now you're white knuckle gripping on the little bit of stability and control that you have in the situation in your life in general. Your white knuckle locked down, holding on to what little bit you do have because now more is not coming in. Three of Cups, your celebration. Remember, it was back here too. Celebration, right? Celebration to the Ten of Cups. This was going to be your life when this decision finally was created, but it's not. Celebration with the Three of Cups has turned into spiritual poverty with the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Chariot, your dreams, your goals, your ambitions, your desires to move forward. Now you're in the King of Wands in reverse. Insecure. Um, you know, upright, he's about achievement and success. In the reverse, he's about failure. And you feel an immense sense of failure, Gemini, an immense sense of failure. Eight of Wands, what are you going to do now? Eight of Wands is about movement, action, change, travel. What are you going to do now? You don't know because now you're in the hermit energy, doing some soul searching and some introspection. Seeking some inner guidance, some higher guidance, some wisdom, because now you don't know what the fuck you're going to do. The wheel in reverse. This is about a resistance to change, right? You had all of your money bet on this and it didn't make. And now you're resistant to change. You don't know what you're going to do. You're in the hermit energy, trying to figure out what the hell you're going to do with yourself. To the Ace of Cups, overwhelming emotion, 
overwhelming emotion. Prince of Swords to the Ace of Pentacles. Now you have to figure out what you're going to do. Now you have to take some action to create an inspired beginning in your life that has potential. Now you have to figure out what you're going to do with the Prince of Swords action to the Ace of Wands um, creation of some kind of inspiration. Wands are about work and career, right? I mean, they're about other things too. They're about inspirations, aspirations, passions, but it's about work and career. Now you got to figure out what you're going to put your focus on. What are you going to do with yourself now that this has blown up in your face? Emotional immature and immaturity, <laughs> emotional um, discontentment, complete and total emotional discontentment, emotional insecurity to the world in reverse. This is about needing must have personal closure because it's it's over. It's over, Gemini. And now you need personal closure to the five of swords. This is feelings of. Betrayal, deception, shady behavior, somebody trying to get away with something, lying, cheating, stealing. It's just, it's just, you feel cheated, Gem. You feel cheated out of what it was that you've been waiting on for so long that did not make. Four of Cups, right? Now you're reevaluating, right? Because we have the Prince of Swords to the Ace of Wands right here. Trying to figure out what you're going to do next. Now you're contemplating and reevaluating about what to do next. To the Eight of Cups, because the, you're hopeless. You feel hopeless. The situation is hopeless. Um, it is, it's over. And you feel absolutely hopeless. The Ten of Swords, yeah. An, an absolute ending. Number one, crisis in your life. Number two, because something has come to a very final permanent end. Six of Wands, victory, progress, and success to the Prince of Pentacles that you have been waiting on for so long. Ten of Wands in reverse. Now you're just overwhelmed. Over, just absolutely overwhelmed. It's about taking on too much, right? It's about, it's about the burden being too much to bear. The Chariot, needing to move forward. Your, your plans of moving forward, right, have been, have been crushed. And now you've got to figure out again what it is that you have to do to, to pick yourself up and carry forward injustice, right? Because there has been a grievous injustice committed in this situation. At least you feel like there has been, right? I mean, I don't know what this situation is. You know, a general reading is if, and, or, but. A personal reading is who, what, when, where, why, and how, right? So whatever has happened, it, it you see it, Gemini, as a huge injustice. Perhaps it was legal, Perhaps it was legal because we do have the King of Swords over here. And then we have the, 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 the Justice card in reverse. Maybe it was a legal decision, but nevertheless, it's an injustice. The Sun card comes in now and talks about happiness, success, and vitality. This is Gemini going, what do I do? What do I do now? What do I do? Ten of Wands in reverse again. Overwhelmed. The load is just so heavy. To the two of pentacles, you have to prioritize. You have to get your balance. You have to prioritize. To the five of wands in reverse, you have to have an increased focus on your goals to figure out what it is that you're going to do with yourself now, Gemini. The three of wands, preparation, foresight, expansion. What are you going to do now, Gemini? Eight of swords in reverse talks about um, releasing the mental imprisonment that is associated with this entire reading to the ace of, of coin in reverse, the ace of pentacles in reverse, because this is an absolute lost opportunity that has no more potential and there is no more hope. And that's where we end this reading. I'm going to ask some advice, but nevertheless, um, you find yourself scrambling. 
So in synopsis, Gemini, what's going on here is that you've been waiting for a very long time for something very, very important to come through for you. And it turns out it's something very, very important. You have your entire everything counting on this and it doesn't make for you. And you find yourself scrambling, trying to figure out where to go now and what to do. Spirit, what is your advice for Gemini? What is your advice for Gemini? What is your advice? What is your guidance, guidance, your wisdom for Gemini? What are some parting words here for Gemini? What does Gemini need to understand? What does Gemini need to do? What is your guidance for Gemini, Spirit? What is your guidance for Gemini? What is your guidance? What is your guidance for Gemini? So far on the table, we have the Prince of Swords, the Fool in Reverse, and Justice in Reverse. We have the Four of Cups and the Chariot. What is your advice, Spirit, Spirit for Gemini? What is your advice? What is your advice for Gemini? Four of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. What is your advice for Gemini? Temperance. King of Cups. What is your advice? Prince of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. What is this? What is this right here? What is this absolute mental clarity right here? Whoa, we got a whole bunch of them. Hold on. Ace of Swords. Ooh, this is a lot. I don't know if these will all make sense or not, but let's see. So we have the Ace of Swords, the Star, the Emperor in Reverse, Death, the Magician, the Five of Swords. Ten of Pentacles in reverse, Eight of Cups in reverse, Five of Cups in reverse, Nine of Pentacles in reverse, Seven of Wands, and the Ten of Swords. Okay. Well, what this is saying to me is kind of exactly what this whole reading just said. And <laughs> we can do this whole reading in just this little bit of cards, right? So the Prince of Swords, right? You need to take some action. You need to take some serious action, like action right now in your life, Gemini, right now. So if you're watching this, right, and this is, you are waiting on something, um, this reading, this general reading says you might want to intervene in your own life because it's not going to happen. Okay, um, a personal, I can't tell you how much I it, urge you, if this is resonating with you, to get a personal reading. Because in a personal reading, you will be able to see exactly where it is that you can intervene to divert. Not that this situation is going to actually be any better, but you can see for real, for you, for real, if this is really going down this way, and you can prepare for it if it is, okay? So you need to take some action with the Prince of Swords to the fool in reverse because doing anything else besides taking action to fix your situation right now is foolish, naive, and reckless. Yes, there has been an injustice committed against you. You need to reevaluate your entire situation right now. You need to move. Move, 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 go, take action, forward momentum, having, having the determination to take whatever action is necessary to achieve success. Four of Pentacles, because you don't have enough to last. You don't have enough to be stable. You do not have enough to do what needs to be done because you've been waiting on this thing to come through, which has been promising you, um, or you've been at least hoping that this is the answer to all of your problems, and it's not. And the Four of Pentacles says that you don't have enough. Five of Pentacles in reverse, this is financial disaster, financial worries, spiritual poverty. To temperance, this card is urging you to sit still. Balance, patience, purpose, moderation, temperance. Temper your self in this situation to the king of cups and get yourself under control get your emotions under control come to terms with the fact that this is actually happening or or not happening 
and get yourself under emotional control. Temperance is saying, just, just take a deep breath. <sighs> get yourself under control with the King of Cups, Prince of Pentacles, Look into your future. Assess the landscape of your future. And the Ace of Swords <clears throat> comes in and says, assess the landscape of your future. Um, because, because truth in two ways. Because truth is, you got to figure something else out. Truth is, this is not happening. Truth is, you need to move forward into your future with different plans. To the star, hope, faith, purpose, renewal. You need to, you need to figure it out, right? Because the emperor in reverse, the situation is completely and totally inflexible. It's not going to change. There's nothing that you can do about it that's going to change it. Death. It has been brought to an absolute ending, okay? I get my cards all messed up. Yes, it has been brought to an absolute ending, the alchemist, the magician, says manifest. Manifest something else and manifest quickly. Manifest something else and manifest quickly. To the five of swords. Betrayal, deception, shady behavior, trying to get away with something, mind games, keeping things on the down low. This is the whole situation, right? You got screwed, Jim. You got screwed. Ten of Pentacles in reverse, a huge loss. The biggest loss that you can have. Huge loss. Your future, your plans, your family, your environment, your stability, your, secure, your security. Huge loss. Eight of Cups in reverse, hopeless situation. The hopeless as in, as in this is inflexible. You're not hopeless. Your life and your situation isn't hopeless. The resurrecting of any of this is completely and totally hopeless. Five of cups in reverse. Move on. Move on. To the nine of pentacles in reverse. Because this has been, uh, um, number one, this has been an overcommitment. Number two, this is a financial uh, disarray, right? A, a financial issue here for you. To the Seven of Wands, a challenge. To the Ten of Swords, and a crisis. A challenge, a crisis, and an ending. Wow, Gemini, that was a very, very deep and serious reading. I'm really, really, well, number one, I'm, I'm glad to be able to bring this to you because hopefully we can catch it before it happens, right? And you can prepare yourself for whatever you have all of your hopes and dreams invested in. Um, hopefully you can prepare yourself for that not working out the way that you intended it to. Um, I'm sorry to bring it to you. Um, I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news. But hey, if this helps somebody come to terms with something in their life, then so be it. You know, spirit, use me as the bearer of bad news. So Gemini, um, take care of yourself. And um, if you want a personal reading, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. Um, if this is like seriously resonating with you, reach out to your favorite tarot card reader, okay? Just make sure it's a, it's a good one, okay? Make sure it's a good one because you don't want somebody blowing fluff up your ass um, just because just because they want you to come back, okay? Get a good, solid tarot card reading um, and understand exactly what your situation is, okay? All right, gems. Namaste.